Hello, hello. Welcome to this tutorial on how to structure your body and have proper alignment in your arms and your legs. So foundational poses are key postures, alignment in the body are key when practicing yoga to support yourself to stay safe, safe in your body. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the structures and the foundation in the arms and in the legs. My name is Kelsey Dawn and this is the Love Force Risings tutorial on foundations in the legs and the arms for yoga postures. So we are going to start in the arms today because quite often we start in downward facing dog. We start by placing our hands on the mat first. <clears throat> so if you watched my last tutorial, if not, go right ahead. It's about props and supports for doing your practice at home. I will put the link above here for you to go back to witness that if you would like that support of props for at home and foundations in the hand. But just to go over the hand foundations one more time before we move up the arm, it is <clears throat> the index finger mound, the pinky finger mound, and the two sides of the palm of the hand. So most often we want to focus on the index finger mound and the thumb mound because those points are the ones that tend to lift off of the mat when you're pressing your hands down. And those points are going to be really important because it's going to protect your wrist, it's going to protect your elbow and your shoulder. It's the start of your foundation when your hands are on the floor. So like any foundation, we're building from the ground up. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> We're pressing all four corners of our palm into the mat, gripping the our fingertips to the mat. Our hands are shoulder width apart, so our hands are underneath our shoulders. Our wrist creases are parallel with the front edge of the mat. So this crease in your wrist right here, look down and witness how it's parallel with the front edge of your mat. Your index, or you, pardon me, your uh, middle finger is pointing towards the top edge of your mat. The next thing that tends to happen in the arms is these inner eyes of your elbows. I see this quite often in a lot of beginning practitioners and even me, I have to remind myself because I'm quite flexible, you know, I can rotate this really easily. And so I see it quite often as well. The eyes of the elbow, so this inner part of the elbow, the eye of the elbow here can tend to turn forward and it's facing the front edge of your mat. And that is putting um, torque and pressure in your joints, in your, in your arms. So we actually want to turn those eyes of the elbows in to face one another. So the eyes of the elbows are facing one another. The next thing moving up the arms is the upper arms. The upper arms, we're focusing on rotating the upper arm, the upper muscle around the upper arm bone. So from inside out, we're rotating the, this upper muscle around the bone from the inside out. So it spirals out like that. And I know, another way, because I know that can be um, kind of confusing in the body when you first begin to do the do these um, alignment principles in the arms. Watch for when you're turning the upper arms, then your elbows, inner eye elbows turn forward. That means you're pushing too far. You're rotating the entire um, muscle, muscular structure around the bone, whereas you just wanna do the upper arm. So the other action to focus that is you draw the shoulder blades down the back. So the shoulders move away from the ears, the neck lengthens nice and long. Okay, so going over that one more time, our hands are shoulder width apart. We're pressing all four corners of our hands into the mat. The inner eyes are rotated in and they're facing one another. Inner eyes of the elbow are facing one another. Shoulder blades are down the back body, shoulders away from ears, nice long neck. All right, that's the key foundations in the arms for your yoga practice. So just come to your mat and try practicing going through that. <clears throat> Give yourself some time before you start your practice <clears throat> on your mat and go over these so you can really feel and integrate them into your body. 
And that way you'll build the muscle memory and your body will start to do it organically. <clears throat> okay, the next foundation that we're going to move into is foundations in the legs. And <clears throat> the foundation in the legs are also really important because it supports the structure of our body as we move up from the ground up. So pressing through the feet, we're pressing through all four corners of the feet, big toe mound, pinky toe mound, and the both sides of the palm. Some people just say three points, basically the exact same thing. You're pressing the big toe mound, pinky toe mound, and <clears throat> the center of the heel into the mat. Okay, that right away is going to create the stability in your body, in your leg, in your structure, which is going to move all the way up. Pressing through those four corners. <clears throat> so I want to talk about um, <clears throat> the structure when we're doing lunges in the legs. So I'm going to support you how to move through a lunge, okay? So here we are. <clears throat> I'll come into downward facing dog. Even when my heels are off the mat like this, like you can see they don't completely touch the floor, I'm still pressing through all four corners of, the, of my feet. So my legs are engaged, my muscles are engaged, and it's still supporting the structure in my body even when I'm like this. My hands are on the floor, they're shoulder width apart, my inner elbows are pointing one another, and my shoulder blades are down the back. So right now I have key foundational alignment in my arms and in my legs. Now moving into a lunge pose. Inhale, we lift the right leg high to the sky. So you're pointing the right foot to the sky. Come up high onto the back, tippy toes. So see how you can lift your heel further away from the ground and come up high onto the toes. Then bend your knee, bring it into your chest. And this gives you so much more space for your knee to come through and land in the lunge, placing your foot beside your thumb. <clears throat> On an exhale, lower your back knee to the earth, okay? So right away, we're still keeping the structure in the legs. Now our legs are on the floor with our knee on the floor. So still see how my back toes are tucked under. I'm still pressing through all four corners of my back foot as well as my front foot so that my leg still stays stable and strong and activated. So it's still supporting my ankle, my knee, and my hips as it moves up my body, okay? Inhale, come to bring the torso up. And we line our hips with the front edge of our mat so we're drawing the thigh bones into the pelvis. Now here we are still, same structure in the legs. We're pressing through all four corners of the front foot and the back foot. I'm also pressing my knee into the mat, but I'm pressing more through my back foot because that takes the pressure off of my knee. If you tend to have a lot of pain and soreness in your knee, this is going to be really important for you to keep the foundation in the foot, to keep the legs engaged, okay? That's going to protect the knee. Witness how my front knee is over my front ankle. So here is the next structural alignment we want to be aware of when we're doing lunges, that our knee is always directly over our ankle. Never in front of it, okay? Never out to the right or inward to the left, or I guess it depends on what side of the body you're on. Out or in, watch for your foot turning to the outside of your foot or you're turning to the inside of your foot if your knee is coming inwards, okay? So watch for that. You want your knee to be over your ankle. It's okay if your knee is slightly behind your ankle. That's no problem. That's an opening How much, depending on how much space you have in the hips. We just want to avoid moving beyond the ankle, okay? But this is going to be the most stabil stabilizing um structure in the body to have the knee directly over the ankle. It's going to give you the best foundation and the best support and strength for your pose. Now the other um, position that happens in the foot sometimes is sometimes we untuck the foot and we have the top of the foot 
placed into the mat. Now, when we have the top of the foot placed onto the mat, we are still engaging our legs. So we still want to keep that um, engagement in the leg muscles and um, pressing the foot into the floor, even when our foot's intact, so both legs stay engaged. So when your back foot is untucked, you're pressing the top of your foot into the mat, like pressing all of your five toenails into the mat there. And you'll feel how that engages the musculature in your leg and it hugs the muscle to bone. Okay, so now we're gonna move into a few of the key poses in yoga, the key the postures that we do, and the alignments in the legs and the feet. The alignment in the body. So the first one that we're going to focus on is a high lunge. Hands shoulder width apart, toes tucked under, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the foot to the sky. Coming high onto the back toes, knee to chest, bring the right foot beside the right thumb. We inhale and lift the arms to the sky. We square the hips with the front edge of the mat. Foundations in our feet here. So let me turn to the side so you can see the structure in the body. My front knee is over my front ankle. It's not splaying out, it's not splaying in. The knee is staying over the ankle here. My back toes are tucked under and I'm pressing through all four corners of the back foot and my front foot. This is the structure in a high lunge pose. Legs are engaged, hips are parallel with the front edge of the mat. Knee is over the front ankle. Sorry about that scratching in the background. That's my kitty cat trying to get in the door there. Um, okay, so the next structural posture that I want to speak to is when we do um, heel to arch alignment in the feet. So when we're doing poses like side angle pose, warrior two, revolve warrior, triangle pose, those types of poses, this is the structure that you're having in the legs for those poses. All right. <clears throat> so coming to downward facing dog, my shoulder blades are down in the back. Inhale, I'm lifting the leg to the sky, coming high onto the back toes. Then I'm bringing the knee to the chest and I'm placing my left foot, my foot in the center of my hands this time. This time my foot is coming in the middle of my hands at the front of the mat. The back foot now turns and pivots so it's parallel with the back edge of the mat. Inhale, we windmill the arms parallel with the earth. Right away, we check the structure in the knee. Actually, right away, we start with the feet. So take a peek with your feet. You're pressing through all four corners of the front foot and the back foot, and your front heel is in line with the center of your back arch of your foot. So heel to arch alignment. So take a look down. You have heel to arch alignment. <laughs> Next thing we're looking at is the knee. The knee is directly over the ankle. It's okay if it's slightly back. No problem. We're completely avoiding going past the ankle. So knee over ankle for best stability and support. This is the structure in the hands, pardon me, the feet and the legs when we're in any of the side angle, po the, these poses. So warrior two, side angle, revolved, and triangle pose. We're always, all of these poses, you can see the strength and stability in my legs. No matter what pose I'm doing, my feet are activated and I'm pressing down into my feet as I'm lengthening up from my pelvis. My spine is lengthening up through my torso, through the crown of my head. So there's the shining up while I'm grounding myself down. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so I think those are the most important structural 
alignments to be aware of in the body right now through this video. It's a really great place to start to support the alignment in your body so you stay safe, you support your body in the best way possible. So you become consciously aware of how to move your body and you move with intention so that you are consciously moving your body rather than your body moving on autopilot. This way you are going to realign your body. You're going to support your body to live a healthy, balanced life, to thrive, and to live in your highest and best selves. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, look out for the next video on alignment principles. Peace and much love.